Welcome at ETOE, my paint job. And it's time for another custom painting video. And what we are painting today is a helmet. As you can see, I'm a professional in wearing helmets, not so much in painting them, but that's okay, because we are doing a simple design, Southern California style, so-called style. Check this, that's what we are doing. And to paint a helmet, we need of course a helmet like this one. And what we also need is wet sandra, my wet sanding bucket, and of course, some 800 grit wet sanding paper. Ah, where's the wet sanding paper? Ah, here. And the first step is to wet sand the helmet to remove the original design. That's what we are doing now. And then let's have some fun with some color and let's do the custom paint job. At first we have to tear off the shield without damaging it. Bang, boom, bang. But don't be afraid, it's only magnetized to the helmet. And then we have to put our hand into wet sandra to wetten the wet sanding paper. And then we have to rub, rub, rub until all graphics are gone. The wet sanding party is over and the next step is the masking. So we need a knife. And of course, some rolls of masking tape. Woo! Let's go! Okay, cool okay, down, cool down. Do you want to cut me in my yeah, fingers? Even, Get cool the down. hell out of my shop. Man, every time these pranks and he thinks he can entertain you with that. Oh, man. It seems that I've hired only clowns, but I'm ready with the masking and the next step is the primer. That's what I'm doing in my paint booth, alone of course. And when the primer's on, I have to do another wet sanding party with sand from my wet sanding bucket. So let's put on the primer. The helmet is primed and I had also a private date with wet sand from a wet sanding bucket to prepare the surface of the helmet. Now let's pick some colors and the airbrushes and let's have some fun. Yeah, let's pick the airbrushes and some colors and let's paint the helmet. I started with the shield to check the order of the colors and the design. That's the result. And now I have to copy this onto the helmet. That takes some hours, maybe days. So let's go.
That was a really long custom painting ride and nearly all the graphics are done on the helmet as you can see. I have to do a last stripe on top of the helmet with my little AR brush and when the stripe is done I can change to the paint boost to apply the clear coat to save all my graphics and to give the helmet its finish. Huh, what's that? <sighs> this funny clown disconnected the air hose. Hey buddy, wait a minute, what the hell? No, <laughs> oh, no, yes, yes, no, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Artist and Very Custom Paint Job. Very funny. And the custom paint job. And I do custom paintings. And clowns need a clown yeah. face. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's how I do my pranks. <laughs> The hammer is done. I have to change to the paint booth, I have to apply some clear coat and maybe I have to wash my friend's face. And when the clear coat is done, I come back to you because I have to do a second clear coat, also a flat one. And that's what I like to show you as well. So let's go. Back from the paint booth and that is the result, but we are not done because the client wants also some matte finishes on some of these colors. And that is a job for wet Sandra and of course for some rolls of masking tape. And what I have to do is I have to mask all the petrol areas on the helmet with masking tape. I have to do a wet sanding with wet Sandra. Then I can change back to the paint booth to apply the matte finish and then I'm done. So let's do it. The helmet is masked up, so let's take that Sandra and the scarf pad and let's send down all the petrol areas. The helmet is masked, sanded and prepared. Now it's time to load the guns and to have some fun in the paint booth.
we are back from the paint booth. What I have to do is I have to remove all the masking tape and when I've removed all the tape, I will put this helmet on a turntable to show you the complete custom painting. And if you want to know more about custom painting, don't forget to check also the other videos here on the channel and see you in one of his next videos. Goodbye.